These amazing websites were designed with AI and as you can tell it is pretty insane. The Mid Journey Showcase has a lot of examples if you're also interested in checking it out. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create websites like these examples and even better using AI and no code. I'm going to cover the entire process from creating AI images in Midjourney and Dolly, using ChatGPT for the website content and building the website in a no-code platform, all without using any code. Now let's start creating our AI art and images. We head to midjourney.com and then you just click the join the beta and you accept the invite and join the Discord. I've already done this, so I'm going to open up a Discord now. Okay, so now we've landed on Discord, got this welcome screen. Now we need to navigate to the newbie section, any of these groups. And now what we do is we actually type in our message in this prompt section here to get what we want. So in this case, what we do is we type in forward slash imagine and then you just hit tab and you type in and describe the image that you are looking for. So in this case, let's say we are looking for a classic car. And we're also looking for convertible. Hit enter. And now we wait. Okay, now that we've got our results, we can tell that it is a beauty. However, we can be a bit more descriptive here. So what I'm going to do is add some more information and let's see what type of images we can get. Now, let's go imagine. And then let's go red classic car side front angle convertible UI UX wallpaper. Let's try and see if we can get a yellow background. One thing we can also add at the end is the style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go S1000. And basically this just means that it's going to be a little bit more detailed than usual. So let's hit enter and see what we get. Alrighty, let's take a look at what we got. So this is the first, second, third and fourth. And I must say it is bringing a tear to my eyes. So let's see what we can do to try and make it a bit better, right? So we can upscale it. I don't want to do that. I want to get some more versions. So out of these designs, one, two, three, four, let's try and see if we can get some more designs for the fourth version. So all we do is we go version four. And now we'll wait again a little bit longer to see what Mid Journey gives us. Oh, okay. Now we've got our result. It is beautiful. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Uh, I'm actually not even sure which one I like the most but uh, let's say let's say we go for this bottom right one so the next step is I'm going to upscale it get a higher res version and now we wait okay now this is much better look at this beauty so what we're gonna do in the true style of AR is use another AR generation tool called DALI and we're gonna edit it but let me just save this image And now I'm going to open up Dolly. Let's search for it, open AR. So if you don't have an account, they're giving free credits. That's what I'm using now. I'm just going to log in quick. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to upload my image. And then let's edit it. So basically what I want here is a banner. And to do that, I'm going to add a generation frame make it a bit longer and then I'm going to give a description to Dolly on exactly what I want. So in this case it's going to be generate a longer background and blend shadow with no text. And let's see what we get. We've got our results, let's just choose what we have here. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one and then I'm just going to crop it. So I'm going to say accept. So I had to resort on Photoshop to crop it quick, which is I'm going to do very quickly. Okay. 
All right, now we've got our image and I think it looks awesome. Let's move on to the next step and that is going to ChatGPT to generate content for our website. So to do that, let's go to ChatGPT on OpenAI. Let's go to try. Okay. Now we've got ChatGPT open. Let's give it prompts on the content on exactly what we are looking for. Let's start with create the text for a website selling classic car rentals in Manhattan. I would like a hero title, a short paragraph of text, call to action, and two selling points for a features section. Let's see what we get. Hmm. I actually like that actually the, the title experience the golden age of automobiles in manhattan beautiful um wow okay this i can already see this looks pretty good okay i've let it generate the content and i must say i'm incredibly impressed i think it's perfect i'm going to use this title the text call to action and then the features there is one thing missing and i want seo content so i just wanted to generate seo title and seo metas especially for those web designers and developers who struggle with this so let's go create an SEO title under 70 characters. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. Now let's get our meta description. Create a create an SEO meta description under 150 characters. Even with my misspelling, it looks perfect. So now we've got our content, let's create our website. For this, I'm using my favorite no-code platform to create the website, Editor X. Now to create the website, I can either choose from a blank template or an existing one, which I could probably go for something cool and modern like this. But for the sake of the video, let's start from scratch. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start by deleting this section, and then I'm going to add pages. So let's go add cars. Let's rename the home to make a title. And then let's just keep it simple and just make bookings. Okay, so we've got our general pages. Let me go back to the home page. And let's add our element. And what we want to do is we want the hero section to be the amazing image that we have. So we click on the image, change image. Let's upload our image. Okay, now that we've got it, let's expand it so that it fits the whole size of the banner. And I think that looks pretty awesome. Now let's make it look even better with all the text and the images. So let's start with the top with a nav bar. I'm just going to add a shape here for the logo, but just so that you know, this is where the logo might appear. Now let's add our menu section. So we've got our menu. Let's add the, the pages. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove the bookings from the nav bar. It's a page, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a call to action. And let's do a button. Let's change it to say, make a booking. Let's add that. Let's change the color. Let's just make sure it's the same color of the car. Cool. 
Okay, so let's add our text. Let's say cool car company, just for a better logo at least. Now let's add our title. Let's go to ChatGPT, get our title. I think this is a beautiful title, by the way. Okay. Now all we need to do is resize it, maybe change the font a bit. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's just make this like 60, make it a bit wider. Then we can reduce this to, let's go one. Now that's a bit too wide. Let's make this actually 50, and then we can go I think that looks a bit better. Okay, now let's add paragraph text. Could even use a one liner, but let's just use this. Let's get our placeholder ready. Let's use this. Just this one sentence is actually perfect. Explains exactly what you are offering here, classic cars. And then let's also make our call to action. So book your classic car rental today. Let's use that as the call to action. Let me just duplicate this button. Let's change the text. And then let's link it to our booking page. Great, let's make this look a bit better. All right, I think it's coming together. Let's stack these elements together so we can move them all. As you can see, it's super easy. Now, all we do is we just keep working on adding improvements here. So let's add a section. Let's look for a pre-existing component. I'm a big fan of using these to work smart. Uh, let's look at services. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, so now let's work on changing this text. Okay, let's work on the other text. Now let's just quickly change the images. So I'm just going to use normal stock photography here from Wix. This is pretty cool. Okay, let's change this one. Yeah, this is cool. Let's just move it. So this is what we built so far. And I think you get the picture how we can build it. It is super easy. Just drag and drop certain elements onto the web page and you're all sorted. All right, that's it from me, guys. I hope you found this video helpful on how you can use AI to build websites from scratch as well as using no code. Please like and subscribe for future content. And if you are a freelancer or agency owner looking to start or scale your freelancing business, join my free community in the link below.